back to Bushcraft Outdoors. I have a Groman knife for review today. So, never, if you've never had a Groman knife, it is a Canadian manufacturer. Uh, very high quality. Um, they're famous for their survival knife, which uh, the Canadian military actually adopted as a parachute knife um, way back when. But uh, so they, they still actually supply that parachute knife, I believe, to the uh, Canadian military. But they also make a lot of outdoor knives, and this is a review on one of those knives. This knife is known as the deer and moose knife. It's quite quite a large knife. Um, comes with a you know a genuine leather. Uh, a sheath, um, very large, very large uh, belt loop on there, very comfortable. Um, high quality, it's a very high quality sheath. Uh, looks like it's got some really good stitching in there and it's nice and thick, uh, good quality leather, a little Groman logo there in the top. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but nice little detail. Snap retention, just take that snap open. And the knife itself is quite a large knife. Um, Dimensions wise, uh, it's it's not a light knife, that's for sure. Uh, weights, it's got a little bit of got a little bit of heft to it, um, but uh, very good overall hunting knife, I would say. This is this is quite a nice knife. I've used this. Um, my wife actually bought this for me for Christmas a few years ago, but uh, I've used this knife to you know skin and gut deer, um, other big game. All, all, all kinds of uh, really nice stuff, bear, and it's been it's been a really nice knife to me. Um, genuine rosewood handles, uh, handmade. This knife is a handmade knife. Uh, price point, you're looking at about 150 uh, suggested retail. So I mean, not not a cheap knife, but not it's not going to break the bank either. And uh, it's it's a big, big heavy duty you know outdoor hunting knife. So. Um, it's sort of a drop point, I guess. <laughs> it's got kind of a neat blade shape, almost like a, a, machete, a little mini machete or something. But uh, uh, it's got some nice jimping here in the back. I'm sure, we can see that. But uh, in hand, it feels very nice. Uh, I feel like I can maneuver this very, very well for all kinds of cutting tasks. Um, positive grip there in the thumb, and it's got a little finger. It's got a little finger guard there. Uh, so you can put your finger up against there for more friction, and um, that rosewood handle is, is a nice, big, big, robust handle. It feels it feels very, very good in hand, very nice in hand, nice, nice and earthy and warm. Um, and look at look at that shine on that blade. That is a nice, nice, high quality uh, steel, stainless steel. Again, um, handmade quality. So it's, it came with a very, very sharp edge on it. Um, I find all Groman knives, in my experience, uh, come very, very sharp. This one could probably use a, a bit of a sharpening, but, um, but, but a great overall knife. So blade length, you're looking at five and a half inches, um, which is a nice, again, nice, nice length. It's not a small knife by any stretch, but uh, not, not too big, not too cumbersome either, so five and a half inches. And uh, it's got a total length of ten and five sixteenths, so very manageable an outdoor knife. Um, if you're looking for a little bit larger knife, this is definitely going to fit that bill. And uh, wait, I don't have a scale on me, but uh, it's, got a, it's got a bit of heft to it, so if you want to chop a little kindling, you could probably actually do some chopping tasks with this. The blade uh, thickness, it's got a real nice, thick, robust blade. Um, it's actually a quarter inch thick, so uh, it's a very, very robust blade in here. I'm not, I wouldn't be worried about breaking this at all. So if you're looking for a very nice outdoor hunting knife, check out the Groman uh, Deer and Moose Knife, uh, number 108. Um, you will not be disappointed if you're looking for a very robust outdoor or hunting knife, so check it out. Check out Grooman.com. They got a lot of cool stuff on there if you're looking for a, a good, you know, made in Canada uh, supplier. I would support these guys any day of the week, so. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see more outdoor craft videos, check back once a month. I'll try and load a video once a month. And uh, if you want to subscribe, like and share, that always helps my channel grow. So thanks for watching and take care.